What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another video on the lossless app in the Steam store which is basically being used for frame generation by myself and a lot of other uh, gamers out there on these handheld devices. If you're not familiar, frame generation basically boosting your FPS by creating fake frames amongst all the real game frames and giving you a higher FPS. Sometimes this works out really well, gives a nice smooth experience without too much added input latency and other times it doesn't work as well and it's that case with this app as well and it really kind of depends on the device and that kind of thing now this app is seven dollars us in the steam store but it is really worth it and works on all the launchers the games and other types of things like emulation which we'll take a look at now this app did recently get an update a couple of updates actually since the last time i covered it here on the channel 2.7.2 i'll leave um a link you can go check out uh, the app and the description here if you want to get into the patch and take a look here but they fixed a lot of like with the ghosting and the stability of the app and that type of thing here um, and for the most part I am seeing some improvements especially on the Z1 Extreme stuff but on the Steam Deck and the Claw it's a little bit different which we'll take a look at now as far as the app itself taking a look at it here scaling mode we're gonna leave to auto aspect ratio scaling type we're gonna leave to off I'm gonna use in-game scalers but we're gonna use this LSFG this is the uh, frame generation part of this app that we're going to use and we're also going to have it draw the FPS because MSI Afterburner won't pick up the additional FPS that's created here only the game's base FPS which is kind of useful because I'll be able to show you both of them at the same time now you have a hotkey for scaling which is control alt s uh, and there's some other options in here that you can change if you want to as well with the app and stuff like that so and scaling is going to be your scale button this is what's going to activate your uh, frame generation in there and then your manual in here you're going to want to use windowed or full screen borderless modes typically uh, when you're using this like full screen and stuff tends to give a lot of issue uh, when it comes to trying to get this to activate so borderless uh, full screen or window tends to work uh, the best for this here now I want to start with Steam Deck so Steam Deck with Windows there's not a lot of options for frame gen AMD is not going to support frame generation uh, driver side so using something like lossless scaling or mods uh, is going to be the best way to get some kind of frame generation uh, lossless scaling is just really easy so we go ahead and launch that in Steam leave it running we have it all set up and then we're going to launch what game we want to run now I'm going to launch Dra Dragon's Dogma 2 on here just because I have it on the deck I was testing it on Windows for the deck of course it's not a playable um, really a playable experience on here but um, with what we know about Dragon's Dogma 2 I wouldn't have expected it to be but I did think it was a cool kind of tech demo to show what we can do with turning on lossless scaling so anyways let's go in here and we'll activate lossless so we'll bring this up go ahead and do this again dogma has to kind of go through a couple we'll click scale click back on dogma before that scales and you'll get to see that kick in here okay so we do lose a little bit of base performance here on the deck but not a lot only a couple fps if that which is pretty cool but it does double uh the actual like fps that's being drawn on screen now when you're at this low of fps you're still going to get some of that smearing and ghosting or fisheye effect depending on how quick you're moving and that type of thing even with clean frame times uh, or even if you lock the FPS or whatever, it's just it's such low base frames that there's only so much that you can really do But it does work and I think it's pretty cool to show what is possible here And maybe there'll be some improvements definitely on games where you're running 30 FPS or up 40 It works much better, but I did want to show this here now something else like Horizon uh, Forbidden West which recently came out runs a little better than Dragon's Dogma. Uh, if I stand right here, we're around 30 FPS. So I'm gonna go ahead and scale activate lossless here. We'll see this kick in and then see what it changes me to here. Now on the deck, we only lose a couple of FPS there, base, which is great. And then you can see it's doubling the FPS and the white numbers right up there that are being drawn. Hopefully you guys can see that just fine. But yeah, bouncing around, basically doubling the FPS. Now it is recommended that you lock FPS when you can, but especially 30 or up, 30, 40, 45, uh, whatever it's gonna double that and work a lot better than leaving it variable but I did want to just kind of leave things variable to show it here but yeah it does work pretty well again at that low of base FPS you could get some of that smearing and ghosting back in here that they have been working on to fix but ultimately it does work here pretty well on the Steam Deck on these games now going over to the MSI claw this thing definitely needs some work when it comes to the lossless app. Now, the claw itself in general just has a lot of weird issues and problems to begin with, but we're around 54, 53 FPS there moving around. If I scale this and activate um, 
lossless here, you're going to see we lose about 20 to 24 FPS as our base, and then it doubles that. It works well. The lossless does work uh, in here, but you'll see a little later on when we get into the Legion Go with the Z1 Extreme how different the experience is. So remember what you're seeing here uh, when we get to that part. But I'll jump in here. Now, in gameplay, again, it's doubling the FPS. It doesn't feel too bad. It doesn't really have much ghosting or smearing. It feels pretty good and works pretty well here with Helldivers, but the claw just loses so much base performance that it kind of makes it really not worth using it. If I deactivate it, we're actually going to go up to what we were getting with it on uh, without the uh, frame gen, so a little better latency and that type of thing. So, But when we go over to the Legion Go, you'll see how much better Lossless actually makes Helldivers on that device. So yeah, there's definitely potential here, but there's something about like the claw and the way this is all working, and, and there's so many quirks with the claw anyway. It's just not as good of an experience, really, even as I get on the Steam Deck, especially over on the Legion Go. So yeah, it just kind of is what it is there. Now, Horizon is similar. It runs awful with this kicked on. We go from 30 FPS-ish to about 20. It does double that, but it's not the greatest experience again because we are bringing ourselves down to such a low base FPS. These frame gens are really wanting to go with 30 or 60, 45, and then doubling that to really give a great experience and get away from some of the smear and ghosting stuff, which we see a much better experience over on the Legion Go. So if I turn off scaling here, we do gain some of our performance back and it is a little bit better. So I would love to see some improvements come specifically for this arc or whatever the case is here. Now, if I go over to something easier to play, like in the 40s here with something... Um, like destroy all humans i'll activate scaling here and we'll see what it does and we do lose performance just like everywhere else so 10 13 14 fps depending on there but because we do maintain an fps above 30 as far as our base it feels way better it looks a lot better and just the frame gen in general is just working better um, if i were to lock this to 30 fps i would actually get a much better experience i would get a decent 60 the frame times would be good and everything would look even better so it definitely has been potential to work really well as long as your base FPS is high enough. Uh, emulation is another great place that you can use uh, this and I'll show this on the Legion Go as well um, but on the claw it's just pretty rough. Now I haven't optimized this game for the claw or anything like that but it, the claw just I've been having some trouble with some of the emulation here and getting high but uh, FPS but we don't lose a lot of performance using lossless but it's not great there. Now, going over to the Legion Go. This is where things work really well, or the Ally, if you're on that. The Z1 Extreme in general, this seems to work really well. So we have Lothus up. We're going to go into Helldiver, similar like we did over on the Claw, and you'll see we're at 60. The Claw was at around 54. We're going to go ahead, activate frame gen here, and we are going to lose some performance, but it's not as dramatic. We lost 24 FPS on the claw. When this activates on the Z1 Extreme, only at 20 watts, we lose about 8 FPS, 9 FPS here. Yeah, it's a loss, but then it works really well with doubling that FPS and getting us up there. If I were to do like a locked frame rate here, this would work pretty well, especially if I want to go for that 40 range and then it would run around 80. But Helldivers on the Legion Go with Lossless has been one of the best experiences I've had with any of the games, with the app, with any of the devices, or the Ally as well. Just the Z1 Extreme in general working this way. Just This is definitely the way I've enjoyed a lot of games. Lossless with the Z1 Extreme, with these games, with having a base FPS higher than 30 consistently or higher than 40, it just gives a much cleaner and better experience, less latency, less ghosting and smearing and that kind of thing, and works really well. So definitely the Legion Go and the Ally for me lossless has been like a go-to and working really well especially since we're still waiting on official drivers with amd frame gen now dragon's dogma is not great for playable on these devices either but i still wanted to jump in and see because we took a look at it on the steam deck and uh, about 30 fps sitting still there and we'll go ahead and scale this and uh, let it do its thing now as far as loss of performance uh, for the z1 here kind of similar to over on the claw or <laughs> the claw over on hell divers we lose a little but not much we lost about 10 on hell divers we lose four to uh, two to four here on Dragon's Dogma in that spot, and then it doubles that FPS. And again, I'm not saying this is anything like playable, but it's not too bad. It actually shows that it works pretty well, pretty good proof of concept. I'd love to see again a higher base FPS would solve a lot of the issues with input latency and smudging and things like that, um, just like we saw over on the easier to run games. But yeah, it does work here and it works much better on the Z1 Extreme than it did like over on the Steam Deck or even when I've tried on the Claw 
uh, as well. So pretty nice here for that. But yeah, it's just kind of depending on the game, the base FPS you're getting and that kind of thing. But I think this app has so much potential and they keep updating it. Um, going into like emulation again, it can be used on different apps too. Uh, anything that you want to be able to use some kind of frame generation on. It doesn't just have to be certain games. But yeah, in emulation here, I can kick this on and just sitting still here. We're not going to lose a ton of performance on the Z1 Extreme, a couple of FPS. Then it doubles that and uh, a lot of potential here again. So this kind of thing with the app and the way they keep updating it, and it's only seven bucks on Steam. I know there's mods and stuff, but I just find this to be one of the easiest ways on these devices to experiment with frame gen and try to get a little bit more out of them. And when it works well, it is really nice when it's hit or miss like on the claw or maybe on some games that don't run great on Windows on deck or something with the lower base FPS. It's not the greatest thing, but when you're 30 FPS or higher or when you're locking your FPS at 30 or higher, it really is beneficial. It really is cool. A really nice app to see here. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.